G'day and welcome. As DAP is being used much more widely for winter crop planting this year, I thought I'd give you a rundown on the differences between the popular DAP or MAP based products. It's the concentrated phosphorus analysis and the fact that they contain nitrogen to help young seedling crops along. Their granule size, shape and hardness of MAP and DAP make them much more suitable to air seeder type planting systems than say single superphosphate. There are localised soil pH changes in the row, but these are of short duration. However, they do temporarily affect the solubility and therefore the availability of phosphate to the plant. MAP forms an acidic solution of around 3.2 pH, so they're best used on alkaline soils, whereas DAP forms an alkaline solution of pH 8 and is best used on acidic soils. DAP is also useful in preference to MAP where additional nitrogen is required. However, users should be mindful of the additional nitrogen in DAP and modify their rates accordingly so they don't cause osmotic or ammonia damage to young seedlings by applying too much N in the row. Consider your row spacing, seedbed utilisation, planter opener type and seed spread in the row, along with your soil moisture and texture to assess these risks. Consider trying also our new nitrification inhibited and power 1820 product this year if leaching, waterlogging or denitrification are potential issues for you. Finally, water soluble phosphorus content is the crucial element to the success of starter phosphate products. And luckily MAP and DAP are both blessed with high percentages of water soluble phosphorus. Thanks for watching and good luck for the season.